Hey guys, it's Josh from AllAboutATheme.com. Uh, today I wanted to go over uh, making some adjustments to these uh, feature tiles on the front page. Um, most of the time they kind of have a, a look that's pretty standard and people kind of uh, look at them and know that it's Akabato by default. Uh, one way you can kind of tweak this is you can look at changing the color of the text that's here and the background that's here and you can adjust through uh, multiple different methods. Um, we're going to just talk about the non-hovered state today versus the hovered background and how you can kind of change it up to fit your need. Um, what you can do is here, let me kind of show you um, what's possible is you can make the change and fully adjust what color you want for the text or uh, the background for that bar, uh, giving you a little bit of ability to match it color wise and theme wise to your website. And there's just two codes that really drive this portion, which is this first is the actual uh, header, so the the text that's inside this bar, which is going to be this top one. I'll put both inside the description below. And this color you can change to be whatever color code you're interested in. Um, maybe you have something specific to your website where you know it's lime green or you know some kind of color that fits the need of your website or maybe you want it white because you want to change the bar itself to just be white or you want to change the bar to be purple and you need your text to stand out this is what you use to change the text color and then below is the actual bar so be able to change the actual bar color that's there and allow you to make some uh, color scheme changes to uh, work with your images themselves. So let's go ahead and grab one. You can kind of see. So this is normal. So we're going to go in here. We go to Akabato settings, Akabato settings, and then to custom CSS. Scroll down to the bottom. You can add, add both at the same time or just one. So I'll just do the header text first. Click update to save everything. And then we'll go ahead and we'll refresh up front. And you'll see now my text has changed. It didn't change how the hover effect is. It just changes the overall look and feel in the first place. And then what we'll do is grab this part, which is I, I've preset them with the same color code that shows below here. So pink text with the it's like a bluish purple background just because they stand off from each other pretty well. So we'll add that one in and then update again. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and refresh once this is done. So we went with pink and black, and then when we refresh, what we'll end up with is that blue and pink. And then you'll see on the hover effect, you're still back to the white and black text. And what I'll do is I'll go over the color change for the hover effect probably next week. Um, I want to go over another option that I have also, which is to remove them overall. So that way, if you had uh, words that you put on your blocks, like if you were to pre-fill these in with your own art and you just wanted it to be gone, so it was just boxes that show your picture and get you there, then you could remove these overall. So I'm going to cover that next, and then I'll go back over the hover effects in case there's some changes you want to do to the hover side. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I try to answer everybody as soon as I can. I'm always interested in thoughts or um, interests that you guys have in what you would like to have done so that you can customize your own website. Um, please just uh, feel free to like and subscribe. And if you're interested in Akabato or you'd like to look up other changes that I have, uh, currently seeing 99 different posts of, of possibilities of things that can be changed or things that have been uh, worked in to work with Akabato so far. And I'm always interested in those too. If you have anything specific that you'd like me to cover, um, I'll go over it as soon as I can. Somebody did ask about the table of contents and being uh, fixed. So I have started to put all that together itself. And and what I'll do is I'm going to go over how to use this best. I think what I'll end up doing to prove out the concept is that it really probably needs to be up top here. So what I think I'm going to do is uh, code out this section and this section and then what you'll do is build them through the actual widget side that way you could place the table of contents at the top and then put your uh, 
posts and the things you care about for the about us and everything else you can rebuild these right below there instead and this way you can actually get um the talk at the top because when you go to these because the about us and legal information are here the table of contents is way down here and you can see i've even locked it in place but unless you're really long they're gonna have to read pretty much your whole first page before they even get to the table of contents if you do it in this method and i don't feel that that's the best way to present it for readers and this is just one that i've been trying to kind of see if I like it, I may switch back over to easy table of contents or, you know, a different version. Uh, if you have ones that you like, please put them in the comments also. And if you'd like to hear anything else, just make sure you subscribe. And I'm trying to start working to two to three posts a week or videos a week. And then if I can get myself on track, I'd like to start getting to at least every other day with different tweaks and, and modifications to get the most out of the theme and give you a chance to build that website in the way you want it to look and feel um, while maintaining the speed and functionality that's provided inside Akabato overall. And if you have any other questions, please leave them below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Thank you guys. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.